what is up atg traders this is munya and welcome back to my channel so today is a saturday and you know what we do each and every saturday we do a market analysis on volatility indices what we're going to be trading this coming week mistakes that we did in the previous week and the good trades that we did in the previous week too and if you're new to this channel kindly click the subscribe button and turn your notification bell so that you're notified each and every time I post a video. If you also want to join our trading community, there is a Telegram channel link down below that you can join for free. Okay, so today I'm going to do an analysis on step index. We're going to look at V50, uh, maybe V75. So stay tuned, maybe V10, V300 also. So stay tuned, right? If you haven't already liked the video, you know this is always going to be great stuff for you, right? And let's take, let me remove this so to get a clear picture. So I'm in a four hour time frame for step index. I've been trading step index for quite some time. I talked about this buy, I think, two weeks back, right? So I'm just gonna highlight some market structures that I'm seeing and where we are most likely to go, right? Remember, my videos do not constitute as financial advice. That's a disclaimer for trading is risky and you should trade with money that you're willing to lose, right? So, I'm seeing uh, which seem, uh, something which seems to be the law of the month right here. I don't think price is going to come back down here. So, this is our law of the month, or some may call it a peak uh right w just different jargons right then our price at an impulse nice impulse i talked about this impulse i traded this impulse it was very profitable then we had a retracement right nice pull back down here and then now here is where we are right and i was thinking to myself I had this line in my, in my in my mind. I was thinking to myself, if price does not break this line, we are definitely going to go back down, right? We're definitely going to come back down right here. Why? Because this is where the market structure is, right? So if price breaks this, price is broken the market structure, which means you're not continuing in an uptrend. Right? So my guess, I think is as good as yours, is we're expecting something like this to happen again, right? We're expecting this upward movement to okay uh, within this coming this within this coming week. Remember, I do this analysis on a Saturday for the rest of the week, and I'm also seeing that at the same price level that I'm expecting price to reach, we also have another resistance point. See. Price has been playing around here. Okay. okay let me just do this. Price has been play, playing around this line. 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 So we can see that each and every time price uh, reaches this line, is either retracement, bounce, peak formation, uh, consolidation. So that's a very important line. And it also confirms my next entry that I'm looking at. So this is my forecast. I'm expecting price to start pushing up to this price level. Then from there, uh, we'll see what you can do next, right? But I have another analysis that I don't want you to miss. I don't want you to miss this analysis. What's happening with the computer? Okay. I don't want you to miss this, this, anal this analysis. I was looking at, uh, uh, B50, B50 guys, there's a nice setup that I that I got this week. There's a nice setup. I actually dropped off it. And then I came to the chat and then looked at it. Right. Not joking. So here's what I first discovered when I came to the chat. I saw we had a nice we had a nice support here. We had a nice support level here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So what? So what? So what's next? Then I realized we were in a falling wedge. 
I realized it, we were in a falling wedge with this support line, with this nice support line coming from the previous break of the market structure. The previous market structure was a downtrend. Remember, I'm in my forward time frame. If you move on to a uh, to my to a lower time frame again, you actually see that uh, there are so many candlesticks. This can stretch for how many? It's probably a day. Because there are so many forward candlesticks, so it's more than a day, right? So we're coming from a my market structure was in a downtrend, right? And then price bounced in our support, the support that I dreamt of, remember? The support that I dreamt of, and then price bounced, and then it broke the market structure. And then this is where we got this support uh, line. And then in the dreams, I got another one. <laughs> I got another one. A nice falling wedge. You see? Nice falling wedge. Nice falling wedge. Now we have two confirmations right here. Two confirmations, a bounce, on the trend line, a bounce on our support, right? And a turn around to break the new market structure. So you're probably expecting price to have this nice movement. Like this. This nice movement on uh, 350. Uh, yeah, it's 350, right? Let me go to the one hour time frame. One hour time frame. Uh, uh -huh. This is what we have from the one hour time frame. The previous break from the market structure, can you see that this was stretching for days? This was stretching for days and we are actually moving up. And um, it's going to go up and up and up and up and up. So can you see that we are actually going to be moving up from this point? And I also want to show you some things that were happening within this market structure. Um, we had a nice break from. Okay. We had a nice break from here, right? Showing that the price is now changing direction after the bounce that it happened at this price uh, level. Right. And also, can you see these candlesticks? We are having consecutive uh, bullish candlesticks from here to there, and um, they are most likely going to push up because of that. This is an institutional move from here, and then a pullback here, right? This is an institutional move. Okay, by institutional move. It's very clear to identify why because there will be consecutive uh, trades of certain types, right? There will be consecutive trades of certain types. What do I mean by that? Okay. There isn't much resistance happening if it's an institutional move. This might not be an institutional move because I'm actually realizing this resistance. An institutional move would be when price just moves up without any resistance okay <clears throat> so this is all for this week i hope you guys can actually uh make some money off these setups all right until next time